CAPS is Canadian Haunting and Paranormal Society. Uh, we provide paranormal investigations free of charge for people who think that they've been experiencing paranormal events uh, in their home or businesses. We've been uh, doing this for 10 years and as a team we've done over 400 investigations. Well first we start with talking to the client to get an idea of what their experiences have been. Uh, then we use a variety of equipment so we have our voice recorder which is the, the heart of any paranormal team. We use uh, cameras with night shot, still cameras, and a DVR system. The voice recorder is the main, is your main tool. Uh, we'll ask questions. We'll use devices like our Mel meter for recording uh, any changes in EMF, electromagnetic fields, or sudden changes in temperature, uh, and our cameras as well for just for taking pictures. Because sometimes you can go all evening and you don't think you have anything and then you go home and you watch video and you listen to audio and it's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what was that? And then you want to go back um, and kind of just refocus your efforts on maybe just one or two areas, but it could be like a, a happy memory that they're just reliving over and over again or it's just a point in their life that they're comfortable and happy and they're just kind of reliving that over and over again. They're just going through their daily routine. You'll see that when, when you get investigations where some will say, every day around four o'clock I smell this cooking or I hear somebody walking upstairs. It's probably just something that's just repeating itself in time, just doing its daily routine over and over again. Canadian Haunting and Paranormal Society, also known as CHAPS. I'm here with Kathy and Dan. And we are up at quite a famous location in the Ottawa Valley called Buck Hill. Now, the thing with Buck Hill is there's a lot of stories um, there's no actual documented proof of what happened here, but the story goes that back in the Depression, um, father came home from, from working, um, his wife was frantic, met him at the door, told him that their daughter had run outside uh, to chase the dog that had gotten out, this was in the winter time, and had not come back. The father apparently grabbed a lantern and went out after the daughter and nobody made it back. Some people are drawn to it because they see it on TV and they think it's all you know splashy and flashy and and you have a million experiences every night okay. and then they come to an actual investigation and realize that's yeah. not what it's really about. <laughs> I think part of that first of all is like your mythical creatures like your your Sasquatch and your Dracula and your vampires are just that, mythical creatures. But for us, um, there's the potential or we think that there's the potential that this is a spirit of somebody that we're connected to. Was it just you and your wife and your daughter? Or was there anybody else living with you? Gunshot. <laughs> that adds an interesting twist to an investigation, not wanting to get shot. The TV shows, um, the big ones, large locations, they're there for up to a week. And in that week, they've produced one TV show, one hour TV show, take out commercials, 40 minute TV show, 10 minutes of setup, 10 minutes of breakdown, 20 minutes of footage. So the TV show kind of makes it look like it's a lot more exciting on location than it really is. Do you want us to leave? Just leave you alone? Maybe you're tired of people coming up here trying to find you and you just want to rest in peace with your family. It's just interesting to be getting point twos and point threes mm -hmm. when we've been in buildings and we get zeros and it stays at zero and for this to go up to a point two and point three in the middle of nowhere is kind of interesting. Are you, are you near us? Can you tell me where you are? 
Maybe you're watching us through the trees. It's kind of like something comes closer and then backs yeah. away. Like and then comes closer. It's like, it's like something's curious yeah. and then it backs away. Well, I want to thank you. Maybe you'll come out and talk to us again when we come back in the spring. We're not, we're not, gonna, we're not Hollywood. We don't do tricks and you know, tie strings to stuff to make the move. We don't do that. We try and evaluate and give you an honest opinion of what's going on in your home or wherever.